Okay, year five and six. So, a really short video from me today, but a really valuable lesson for you to complete. Now, as you know, at the start of all of our learning experiences, we really need to know exactly what you guys know already. We need to know your prior knowledge. And this lesson is going to be really helpful for myself, Mr. Shaw and Mrs. Wilson, who are going to be using what you tell us today to inform our planning, to make sure that it's really focused on what you need to know, what you want to know to be able to answer our learning question, okay? To, for you to be able to achieve our goal of being able to explain how organisms that you can find in your local area are classified based on their characteristics. So this is really, really important and I want you to really think carefully about the, the session and the activity that we're asking you to complete today. So there's our learning question. You've unpicked it. We've looked at the um, le uh, gateway to learning as well, how we're going to unpick that. And yesterday, you looked at how you are going to become a scientist, the skills that you might need to become a scientist. And one of the things that you picked out yesterday was around asking questions being inquisitive, trying to find the answers to things, and we're going to start with that today. So we're going to complete a grid. You can record this in however, however you, uh, whichever way you like, however you want to, um, either as a table, you could do it as a mind map if you want, or a bubble map if you wanted to. Um, it's totally up to you. Please think about your presentation. Make sure it's something that works for you. Make sure that you're presenting us with a piece of work by the end of um, the day that you're really proud of, that you are happy and pleased to send in, in to us that's presented well. So really important that we know what you already know. There's no point in us teaching you lots and lots of information you already know. It's a waste of time, waste of your time. We want to be teaching you things that you need to know, that you want to know, not the things that you already have a really good understanding of. So I've just put some ideas in here around things, some of the maybe some of the subsection, little categories that you could be thinking about. So do you know, okay, anything about local wildlife? Could you write down lots of different things about the local wildlife you would expect to see? Different um habitats that you might know that are in this area okay we've got one obviously really big one it's just a river so what wildlife might you find around there is that different to the wildlife that you might find in your back garden is that different to the wildlife you might find if you walk to the wooded area up um, behind um, the school or up in towards the farmland that's um, not far from here so really think about different local wildlife you might already know about um, about how living organisms are grouped. So, obviously we've got lots of different groups of um, living organisms. So plants, we've got animals. Then do you know how some different plants are grouped? Do you know different groups of animals? You might have heard of lots of these different groups, but we want to know what you already know. Okay, so I'm not going to give you too many clues. I'm not going to give you too much information. We want to know what it is that you already know, and that will really help us. And any information. So if you know that animals are grouped into lots of different groups, do you know some of the key features you would see in an animal that might give you a clue as to which group it falls into? Um, then, once we know what you already know, this is really important. We want to know what you would like to know, okay? So, what do you want to know about that you think will help you answer this learning question? Okay, so maybe you're looking at the things I've highlighted on this side and you think, actually, I really don't know what, local, what wildlife is around here locally. I've seen some, but I, I don't really know a, a, a large amount of the wildlife that you might look to see. So, maybe in here you want to know what wildlife you can see um, in the local area. Maybe you want to know if all animals or plants can be grouped into certain groups. Are there, are there animals or plants that fit into more than one group? Okay, lots of those types of questions. So the session today, really important. What do you already know? Okay, and what do you want to know? So really look forward to seeing these on class dojo later they're really going to inform us to make sure that this learning journey is really suited to what you need to know to be able to answer this question brilliant i look forward to seeing your work and i will see you next week have a lovely weekend
Thank you very much.